guys. I want to welcome you to the Khan Academy celebration. Uh, you guys have accomplished some amazing things, and we're going to be celebrating that today. I can't tell you, as principal of this building, how proud we are of the students of this school and your accomplishments. Give yourself a round of applause. I got introduced to it by Ms. Holkowitz in sixth grade. I didn't know how it worked. I wanted my, my kids to try it out. She was doing it for the Accelerated Math Algebra program and she told me different things I needed to do to get into it. And so I was doing the programs and then I would go back into class and I would be like, wow, this is so much easier for me now. When I found out about LearnStorm, I was more intentional in giving the assignments because I knew that they were pushing each other to, to finish them. Well, I wasn't sure when we first started because it was kind of new and nobody really knew what they were doing. But then I realized that if we're going to get points, if we're going to do our assignments in the first place, then we might as well get points for them. And once they got to 100% of the first level and they had their 10 second cheer and celebration, they wanted to keep going. And they got to beat level six and they got their stickers and they got excited and they said, if we keep going, maybe we'll get something else. And so they kept all the way to level 12. I want to introduce to you the lead storm team leads, Mia and Erin. You notice that there's a banner up there that says Dallas Grand Prize. That means out of 12,000 students that participated in LearnStorm, out of 158 schools that participated, over 10 different districts, you are one of the top three schools in all of Dallas County. Give it up for yourselves! This one has been made possible by our sponsors, AT&T, across the U.S., but a special experience here in Dallas County, which you all are experiencing right now. So we would like to also welcome our guests here today from the at and You'll see their volunteers throughout the course of this program wearing blue shirts. Thank you so much to the at and volunteers. at and volunteers, you want to wave your hand? Say hello. <laughs> Let's welcome Nicole Anderson, president of the at and Foundation, to the stage to share some thanks with at and and dedication to learning. You've inspired your teachers, your community, and all of us. Congratulations to each one of you for being a Con Learn Storm Grand Prize recipients. Please give yourself another round of applause. It's all of you in this audience today. We're the future leaders of companies like ours and the future leaders of our country. The skills you gain through LearnStorm will help you on your path to success, wherever that path may lead you. Please don't let the excitement and the passion you are feeling this morning fade after today. It's my hope that you will build on the knowledge you gain through LearnStorm and make this your best school year yet. It was so exciting. These kids are pumped. And it was very encouraging to me as not only a state legislator, but a mom and a grandma to see the kids excited about um, learning. I did like seeing that emphasis that um, as you try to get something done, you might fail. And that's okay, as long as you learn from your failures, learn how to do it right, and keep moving. Um, you've got to work hard, you anticipate getting a reward for that work, and I think that's uh, one of the things that I like seeing them learn. Congratulations to y'all for being named one of the three grand prize recipients here in Dallas. 
for your hard work on the Boeing the Thunder and Storm program. Any innovative approach that the administrators and teachers take here at Jackson Technology Center is an example to schools across the state, not to say across the country. So thank you again for inviting me. Um, I want you to know that your achievements and your success is something that we want to recognize because you completed the LearnStorm program and that is such a big benefit for you. I can't wait to see what else that you're going to accomplish. So give yourself a hand. And thank you for inviting me. Keep up the good work that is so important to you. We appreciate all of y'all. Bye. Well, it's very exciting, especially since it's a nationwide um, designation. How exciting can that be? And Garland ISD has always been very innovative in their learning. They have an open school district where you can go anywhere in the district. And they have several um, schools that they have opened that, that are really geared towards STEM. And this program is geared towards STEM. So um, it's exciting to see Garland ISD uh, making sure that our kids are learning and moving forward. We shared that y'all have won the, lab, the Dallas Grand Prize, but let's pause and reflect on how, what journey you took to get here. So there was a lot of teamwork. There was thousands and thousands of minutes of learning on Khan Academy. So much so that y'all got to 12 Learn Score levels and completed over 174 growth mindset activities so that you started the school year strong with the right mindset, with the right attitude about learning. And for that, and for all the teamwork that you've accomplished, Give yourself a huge round of applause for that. I see exponential growth in um, the achievement of my students as they go through this program, and that they are able to um, work at higher levels. They keep going, they keep growing. I'm not holding anybody back just to one level. As far as they can go, they're, they're shooting for the stars. When I first started, it wasn't like something I was sure of, but then whenever I was like doing it, it like kind of organized my thoughts, uh, how I felt about things. And then at the end, it just all connected. I could just use it in like life. I have never been more proud of, of my students. Every one of my students worked hard and they're, they're keeping it up and have setting high goals. Is uh, Ms. Banner, so we're leaving Ms. Banner here, but you know, y'all already saw that, y'all already knew about that part, right? Uh, we have a few other pieces, we have our at t volunteers come up here too. So they were amazing in getting us some support from, for some other prizes. And so, uh, first up we have some prizes from Nickelodeon, this amazing drawstring backpack. or maybe it's an instrument, or maybe it's a sport, or maybe it's a, just a public speaking or something where you have kind of a mental block around it and you don't think you can learn it or you get frustrated and you're not sure what to do. And it's not because you can't learn it or because you were born with a math gene or a science gene or not. It's because you just haven't learned it 
yet. It's okay to fail, you know? You can't always be perfect. There was one question every single time that I messed up on, and after I went over and I read that article, and I realized, oh, it's my fixed mindset. I need to get past this. So I sat down, I took a couple breaks, you know, halfway through, and I, I went back to it, and I started over and over again, and I finally realized, okay, I can do this. I can do this, and I did it. It's okay if you don't know how to do something. You just, you're, you're gonna learn it later on. It's, just, it's okay to not know it. Well, actually, after doing the Learn Storm activity, I had district band, and I was sitting there, and I was actually practicing my audition music, and I was like, man, I can't get these 16th notes. What's wrong with me? And then I sat there, and I was like, man, this is my fixed mindset. I can do this. And so I sat there, and I got through it, and I actually got third chair honors band, so. The point is that there's all kinds of things that we haven't learned yet, and learning is a lifelong journey. And what we want you to know is that even when you start out, if something feels helps me advance in a lot of lessons and I feel like if I'm advanced and if I know what I'm doing then I'll be more confident in everything that I do. It all made a little bit more sense with Khan Academy. I want to see um, Khan Academy benefiting more students. I've seen it firsthand with um, tying the college board and imp increasing the SAT score. My daughter increased her SAT score by 400 points. I think I'm going to get all these kids to college. <laughs>